welcome back to show identity zone travel i'm sure that you're enjoying the conversations we're having with the artists in the studio and some of the dedication that you're seeing uh in the pictures that you're seeing of the great work of the artists who worked with Alon to good i didn't get a chance to talk to you to to really work with him as an artist but i've got the privilege of of just gleaning and just watching and enjoying you guys talk hope you were talking about uh your own experiences with him um you, you want to continue um, indulging us yes um so speaking of Tuku the legacy yeah and the time that i managed to have with baba Tuku, mm -hmm. and i would also include that his death alone right. speaking of legacy mm -hmm. for me mm -hmm. uh, one of the things that i learned um over this past few days in mm -hmm. fact is uh, like what one of my mentors is always saying mm -hmm. you you want to lead your life fully now it's it helps to look at your life from your deathbed mm -hmm. imagine it's your funeral what kind of eulogies are going to be made yeah. about you yeah. now you look at when 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 Tuku died i mean the whole country just came together everyone had wonderful the world to, the world came together yeah. musicians from different countries came it, i was like wow who came from abroad I know Steve Dyer was here. Okay. And the cool man, they were in fact for the wow. show, yeah, for the very mm -hmm. And I mean, I just looked at them and I was like, wow, when you die, what's going to be said about you? Whether you are a musician or not, because for us musicians, many yeah. people would say, oh, it's easy, you, you yeah. have uh, philanthropic portfolios and yeah. stuff. But even any ordinary citizen, when you die, yeah. we all have talents of us are you working on it every day mm -hmm. for 24 hours what did you right. do to improve your legacy mm -hmm. what did you do to fit into your talent and all that yeah. Ramam Tukuzi was the iconic example of that I looked yeah. at his funeral and I was like wow that's a life well lived yes I think for me what amazed me though is uh, the catch up where we know that he is a 40 plus year career mm -hmm. and he managed to be at 66 to have 66 hours. 66 hours. <laughs> and you're saying, how wow. did he catch up? And I'm looking at myself and I say, okay, dude, you are 38. You have a lot of work right. to do. Oh, yeah. Co you know, concerning the, the productivity mm. in terms of uh, outpouring his creativity. Right. So in that area, I think he did so much. Mm. In uh, And he's shown us a great uh, example of saying, mm. you can always do much more than mm. we're probably doing um, at the moment. So for me, that was quite an amazing thing. Mm, I agree. But yeah. yeah, in terms of legacy as well, uh, when I went home and I, I looked at uh, family, mm. I think one of the things that broke my heart was when um, uh, I got home and I went to speak to, to mama and uh, then Tete mm. uh, came in and there was some, you know, the, that heartbreak and, and family showing that they, they, you mean they were more, his Jesus. family, okay. yes, his family showing. I think greater than the, the one, the legacy of being famous and whatever mm. is easy for us mm. because we're probably, we're fishing water in that. Mm. But I think the greatest one is when your family members can also vouch yeah, for true. you when you're gone. That's and I think true. for me, that's, that's amazing. When your family mm. members can say, you know what? We also had a piece of cake because everybody else can write the great stories about Dudu and Hope. Mm. But what is our, our family saying about oh, us? And that's for me. Thank you. Uh, and I also want to come in and say, you as female artists worked with Dr. Mtukudze. Yeah. And usually in our industry and in many parts of the industry, different industries in this country, it's sometimes usually difficult for men and women to work together. We don't have a relationship. Eka ababa lo 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 daughter. How has it been? How easy was it for you to interact with Tuku? Um, and how he's managed to do that and not many artists have managed to take other young women because a lot of male artists are doing well in this country but Tuku took a lot uh, I mean we're, we're hearing a lot of, of my testimonies to do how was it that Tuku managed to break the culture of barrier yeah. you know yeah, yeah, I think one of the things that has happened, um, the music industry has a lot of stereotypes mm -hmm. that have been there. Mm -hmm. I remember it's just when we were getting in, the time that I went to the music industry, there were five female artists who mm -hmm. were prominent. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I got in, my father said, now she's going to die of mm -hmm. HIV. 
Maybe now that she's going to the arts, we are burying her in three years. You know, that kind of thing. Right. So I think how uh, the big job that we have to do to catch up mm. and be like the rest of the world is for us to to prove also how the, the relationships are purely business. From Dara, everyone calls me Dara. From mm. Dara, if he's saying you're my daughter, you're my daughter. Right. And, and that's it. So and, do, and do, we maintain mm. that space. Right. So I, do you think the... Sorry, to come through. Yeah, yeah, come Do on. you think that um, him already defining the relationship as a father-daughter from the beginning... From the beginning. Do you feel yes. like... No, but see, even if you want to Even in my work, usually in the Katanga Queen, you can't even remember. You can't even remember. You can't even remember. And usually, you can't even block. And then, then how did you also engage with Tuku's wife? Could you saw that you know all those dynamics? Yes, I think those are the, the, the issues that we, we struggle with. Um, because of the context that we're in. If we're not in Zimbabwe, it wouldn't be a problem. Right. So it, it is important for a young lady then to make sure that the relationship with mama is also right. is good. Um, though it's not too professional either to end up kubasa kubasa. Mm -hmm. People must learn that. We need to right. grow yeah. into that space. It's a it's a place we should grow to. So uh, moms always stayed away from the from the business, right? And then when she came, she also came into the space as moms, right? Yeah, she she didn't come as anything else mm -hmm. uh, but moms. I remember one time, one two, I was pregnant, mm -hmm. and and I knew that I had uh, moms around. <laughs> and so you have that relationship with the mama as well because she came across mm -hmm. that way. She could also have chosen to diva in. Diva Maybe back. she might have gotten diva mm -hmm. back. Mm -hmm. You know, you only okay. watch you. Saw. <laughs> but then it would not have helped you because no, if Mama is diva and you become diva, yeah. she's gonna tell Baba, okay. no, that child at why that one? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So there's that space that needs to be managed right. uh, because of the context that mm -hmm. we're in. Um, and I think for the men as well, there's um. I don't think it's a it's an expectation as well that we we should come and place it as a demand to mm -hmm. say help us up. It, oh, we, exactly. Yeah, yeah. They, no one owes us anything, man. Is yeah. That, 24 hours, there's it's not a female or male. No one owes you anything. Exactly. Only the, why he becomes a superstar also in, in many ways is he, he, he back up out of his way to groom many artists, yeah. female or male. Right. Yeah. But but he didn't owe that any of us. No, but it's about legacy. No, it's about legacy. Your ladies are seated here talking about the legacy. The legacy, right. yes. However, mm -hmm. any other male musician who hasn't done that is making their choices. It's making their choices. And if they have a great discography and they died 66 with 66 albums, they're going to be a hero or the same whether they groom the young female musicians or not. What I would like to say to other female musicians is it's up to us to grab the bull by the horns ten times more than our male and and our friends. But then, are doing. so can I also just come in there? Mm -hmm. I totally understand mm -hmm. the way the, your, your, your line of thought. The moment that you already say that, yes, they don't owe us anything, but we are supposed to put 10 times, do you not think that as part of creating legacy and just making the lives equitable, it would be important that if my, my male artists, but what name opportunities are Kawanda already? Do you spoke about how can only a female artist? A lot of times you're thinking your family already, in financial, it happened to me. Would you be a Miss Jones? She's loose. It, those things. We, don't you think it's it's actually important that male artists realize their privilege and it advantages? Is, yeah, 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 I agree with you. It is absolutely it is. And what we're <laughs> saying is we'd be happy if, if they would, but if they don't, also it's okay. What happens is mm. in, in, but you can make say, it by yourself. You can make by yourself. The first time I met Oliver Mtubu, I phoned Bagari Pai and I asked to go and see him. Okay. The first time it wasn't him reaching out to me, and then the relationship by Asukura from them. Mm. It's up to us. To, you want to talk to someone, you want to improve your, your mm. career, you want to do a career. Find somebody. Find, some, find a way of getting the phone. National Health Council gave someone's yeah. phone number. And yeah, you want to because, say, yeah, I wanted to say, Kuti, I think it's, it's about time that that rep really finished. Which way? The rep about, oh, the males must be taking us to the top, blah, blah, blah. It, it needs to stop at some point, um, particularly in the arts, because we are flying on, the art flies on uniqueness and creativity and the gift that you, you have. And you have the same access to Facebook and everything else. Right. So we, we need to move to that. We I thank God for whatever. Do, do I am, um, you have just touched on an, uh, on an issue that you know I'm so passionate about. I, and when we come back from the break, we're going to go back to this situation and, and, and topic and discuss some more. Stay with us.